Hi, it's Adrienne, and I'm back doing some more looks off of the new Scooby-Doo, the uh, makeup palette, and so I thought I'd go ahead and try out a couple of different things that I've been sort of wondering about here. Um, I just now got the Glow Oil by Supergoop, and it has an SPF 50 in it, so I wanted to go ahead and try it with the Pretty Fresh. Um, this is their uh, Tinted Moisturizer. And I have um, 8N and then and 4N. So I went ahead and mixed these two together to go ahead and get the base. And I just wanted to see how it worked with the super group um, before I was, you know, <clears throat> busy and <clears throat> with daily stuff, not able to make changes and things. So, uh, and then I did go ahead and use a pretty fresh concealer as well. And this tends to work as a really good base under the glam light. So, um, and um, didn't have any problems with application as far as putting these two together. And this one has a lot of hyaluronic acid in it. And this one has a lot of oil in it. So there's like a lot of, uh, well, sort of, um, it actually, it doesn't feel any different than any other tinted moisturizer, um, but I just wanted to make sure that they didn't do something weird together, and they haven't, and that's really good. Um, I do have the Oma on, and this is uh, the, it's complicated, so that's what I have on there, and I did go ahead and add in uh, the So Glassy Lip and Epiphany. So again, that's what's going on there. And then as far as the cheeks go, um, I went ahead and used Brute Flute here as my, uh, yeah, it's a Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop. You can get these over at, let's see, Target, Alta, or on the ColourPop website. And um, I did go ahead and use some of the Scooby-Doo, let's see. I got their blush palette, and it's all really cute. It's all holographic, so if you turn it, then you get Scooby, and if not, then you get Velma and Daphne. And yes, I did get the names of the characters or for a little while, and I was like, what? That was one of my favorite shows. How could I do that? Um, but So I did go ahead and use Brute Flute here, and then I added in a little bit of the pink. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, the ColourPop Seismic as well. So this is what I have on as the actual highlighter. And actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit more pink here. And there we go. So this is one of the BS Mall brushes. And yeah. So that's adding a little bit more in. So that's sort of the look that you get with it. And again, this is adding the pink onto the brute flute. So uh, yeah, that's the color that it ends up being. And again, I just added this color in. And a little bit more of that on there. So yeah, I gave it a little bit more. A little bit more. And then with the Scooby-Doo palette, it goes, yeah, it has a, the holographic. So it goes from Scooby to the whole gang to Scooby. And each row is one of the, um, one of the characters. And um, for some reason, I forgot the second row. But uh, first row is going to be Scooby. Second row that I forgot in one video is Shaggy. This one is going to be Daphne. Uh, this one is Velma, and this one is Fred. So today I went ahead and did a look using the Daphne colors and using the Fred colors. So to go ahead and get into that, uh, what I did was I went ahead and used this color in my crease. I went ahead and did this over the top of it to blend it out. And then I went ahead and used this on the inner part of the lid and this on the outer part of the lid. 
and I went ahead and used this color over here which is actually a purple but in 4k it's turning up as blue I don't know why it does that um, but it's actually a purple and I used it as the eyeliner and then and that was over on this one over on this one which is look based off of this bottom row here the Fred colors um, I went ahead and used this blue on the inner half of the lid, so from about the middle to the inner corner. And then I went ahead and used this dark blue um, from about the, uh, the middle of the lid to the outer corner. And I went ahead and used, uh, this is a really gorgeous duochrome, and I used that on the inner part of the lid. I used this red on the middle part of the lid and then this on the outer part of the lid. And as far as the eyeliner, I did this one, um, let's see, from the inner corner to about halfway, and this, this one from about halfway over to the outer corner. Um, I did clean up a little bit, so I just used a, uh, uh, what are they, um, multi-fiber, fiber, you know what I'm talking about, those, uh, the, yeah, the the washcloths that have all the little tiny fibers in them, and I cleaned up like right underneath so that I didn't have, you know, any eyeshadow up there. As far as the way that the look turned out, that's kind of the way that it turned out. And um, so uh, just wanting to go ahead and play with this new eyeshadow palette and all the fun stuff. Um, what I suggest, and I don't think I'd mentioned this before, is when you're working with these eyeshadows, it's a lot easier to go um, on a face that doesn't have any makeup. So uh, I'll put like my moisturizers on and then go ahead and put my pretty fresh concealer on and do my eyeshadow and then go back in and do the foundation and the blush. And in this case, I didn't use any bronzer. Um, as far as what else I did, I used the NYX Thick It Stick It, and this one is in uh, Cool Ash Brown as far as the brow, and the Essence Volume Stylist um, 18 Hour Wear as far as the mascara goes. And I think these are two really fun looks. Um, you could definitely go out um, if you wanted. I, I wouldn't have any problem you know, wearing them into work setting at all. Um, I think they're pretty, but yeah, I think the colors turned out really well and they have a lot of pigment. Um, the shimmers are definitely very, very metallic. Uh, I haven't had to, you know, do that wet your brush and see if you can get the shimmers, you know, to actually show up. They show up amazingly beautiful. I think it's a great palette and I would recommend it to just about anybody. So uh, that's the video. I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.